Hi and welcome to Excel tutorial of the point of sale system. This is a very advanced point of sale system developed using Excel VBA. Now let me show you guys how this works. We can select whatever product we don't want within the receipt there and just get rid of that, remove it. And we can add another one there as you can see we get the total automatically and we can always update there we go okay. now we can even reset the whole lot there and start all over for the next customer okay. for each of these products that you guys are looking at we have all the prices there and there's a barcode representing whatever item that is selected there now that is about 30 something pounds supposing the customer decide to pay using cash and let's assume the cash deposited is about let's say 35 pounds plus all you just need to do is to click on pay there and the customer actually get a change of this you can also print out the receipt if you want All right, let's start work with a new tutorial entirely. So I'm gonna close this and let's open up new Excel package. There we go. So let's double click on that. And we start a new one entirely. Okay, this very one underneath here. Let's close that and close everything. There we go. Now, what you need to do is click on the developer tab if you don't have this very de developer tab all you need to do is go to file and click on the options here then you select the ribbon make sure it's selected you should be able to see developer here if it's not there search for 18 then you can go to co a popular command and you should be able to see your developer here okay and that is it right there make sure it is checked click on ok there and now the next thing is come straight to the developer menu here or you can just press alt f11 to get your windows forms windows application open for the so that you can get your visual studio open i mean okay so once the visual studio is open all you then need to do is go to insert right here click on insert and let's select user form there, that is your user form now once your user form is selected you can then define the size okay i'm going to make the width about 1042 there we go and the height i'm going to make the height approximately let's set to 4 and 600 there we go there now that that is ready make sure you have your toolbox and inside the toolbox i'm going to define the following so let's come in here grab that and just draw it right there I have one of these here i'm going to hold on to the control click and drag i have two then another one right beside it the one right beside it i'm going to increase the size of that to that much there now right underneath here let's add another one here another frame and we can just copy this anyway copy this and just drag it all the way there we go all the way here. there now the system seems to be taking shape now okay let's just move this all right that's fine we just need to bring it down a little bit all right all of that is taken care of now the next thing is we need some buttons here click and we need about one hold on to your control click and drag two three then click and drag and two more there we go now the next thing is let's grab one list box here we need to actually one just here copy that too 
and right underneath here i want to add a label that label will be for my barcode and this very these two list box let's change the appearance i think we have something here drop that down just change it to flat there so that they both look like they are the same now here i need i need some buttons right here in total i'm going to need about 24 of those so let's see if we can get that sorted we have yeah i think we might be able to get 24 in and we have two three we're going to need about eight of those six actually and copy it all and let's hold on to the control repeat that again hold on to the control click and drag get this out of the way there all right so we have six four that's 24 now we also need four underneath here let's grab this and paste that in here okay and here add more let's add more one more two actually it's not one two frames one frame there copy and drag across another frame there we go and all of these frames i'm going to get rid of the text content we have in them get rid of this as well all right let's just pick that up okay that is done now let's add some labels here so here first of all let's do this come in here and add the following i need a combo box one combo box here they will need labels one two and three then we need two labels here right that's fine and here we're gonna need about six labels here bring them here copy hold on to control click and drag now let's do one thing the name of the buttons or the buttons let's change the font size of the button to maybe 24 and we can start changing details of each components make that 24 bold and the very first one here i'm going to change that to let's see come in here and just change that to seven we have eight nine four five six and i guess you guys get the whole idea i'm going to speed that up yeah all taken care of and i'm going to change the background of this frame let's change it to something white come right here there we go our in fact even all of these frames let's change them to white Now this very one here, and this, let's go for white for all of them, there, alright, that's good, okay, now this very form, double click on that form, and let's go for form initialize, you see in there, I'm going to change that very form to, so when I run it, that will become, Let's say form one. These are form one that back color. That is equals RGB. And let's enter cadet blue. Uh, 58, 158, and 160. So when I run it, that should actually change color to cadet blue as you guys are looking at that's it all right i need to change this color as well to something whitish so come in here and that all right what's the name of this so let's give this a name i'm going to call that combo payment cbo pay there 
Okay, that's fine. You see this very one here? Let's change the back color to whitish. There. Okay, now for each of those buttons, select them, come straight in here where we have pictures. And the very first picture I'm going to have in there is going to be the picture of a cake. Let's come down here. Should be able to see the cake. There we go. And that costs £2.75. And in here, the next one is going to be maybe, let's see, we just grab maybe cappuccino or anything there we go and here as well let's see what's the next one bring it down um okay i'll go for that there now you guys get the whole idea i'm going to repeat that for the rest buttons and just tidy up the look of the whole system and get back to you guys okay guys this is how the system is looking now let me run in so that you guys see how the whole interface looks like there we go that's how it's looking right now okay i'm going to now save it so let's exit out and come right here go to file save and i'm going to save it as excel macro enable so let's give that a name I'll just call it POS underscore advanced or advanced POS. Okay, let me put Excel in front of it. Excel advanced POS. Good. Okay, and let's save that straight into my folder there and just click on save there we go now I'm going to double click on the form let's go straight to the initialize and right there I'm going to go for the CBO payment dot add item and the very first item I'm going to add will be known as cash Okay, then I'm going to add three or more. There we go. And this one, this one will be known as direct debit. Then let's go for Visa card. And finally, Master Plan. card then we'll go for mastercard here there we go that is it done if I run my system now this is how it's going to look like there all right that is fine now but there's nothing going on here okay let's take care of two functions double click on that and um, right up here first of all let's declare two variables some variables there I'm gonna call that option explicit for my variables explain yeah and I said Dean so I'm gonna go for change Comma, I will go for maybe tax some. I'm going to also go for cost. That's a cost cost of item. There, let's make these uppercase as well. Cost of item or item cost. Okay, let's say us double there. Now I have four of those. Let's say dim I as well. But let's just change it to add item cost. There we go. 
all right so I will also declare the following then T code yeah that, that's that's just it I'm just gonna call that T code or, or let's okay let's say barcode all right then barcode there now let's create my function the very first function I'm going to call that function cost of item okay cost cost underscore of underscore item items that's my very first function there and this function I will assign the sum I'm going to say sum is zero there's nothing inside sum for i this very i okay that very i equals zero to l s t display dot count list count let's say minus one step one okay so now let's say sum itself equals sum plus by value list display dot and let's enter i in there okay next come back in here there should be there should be a bracket in here all right and i'm just going to say nest i there we go now right underneath here let me say my tax is about 1.5 that is for the tax okay so what i'm trying to achieve in here is whatever item that is entered on the onto the list box i want it summed up Okay, and that is the tax on the net here. Okay, the tax initialized with 1.5. Now I'm going to say L V L sub total. That is dot and that's equals let's get that formatted to get that formatted to pound sign anyway. Comma. And that is comma as well as to decimal place dot zero zero and close that yeah that is for my subtotal so for the tabs dot caption equals the following I'm gonna grab all of these just paste it there and just enter the tax in there there we go and for the tax to get that sorted i have this already and i then need i'm going to multiply this by tax there so that should give me the tax okay and if we divide by 100 okay let's divide it by 100 Let's add another one here. That's my tax rate. Okay, then convert it to pound sign. All right, let's see. That is correct. Yeah, I reckon so. That's correct. All right, now copy. Come right down here. Now for the total LBL total. LBL total dot caption. equals as follows okay in the case of this this is for tax we now also need to add the sum to this so to do that this is tax once the tax is deducted we add the sum to it so the sum in this case is the sum so let's just add sum in there so plus sum close that and close this there that takes care of that and right underneath here I'm also going to enter 
the item barcode dot caption that is going to be equals barcode there we go right okay for the barcode okay i need to sum up all of this though for, okay let's say barcode grab that is that here and all of this there that's that is for the barcode but I'm going to have to get rid of the pound sign and what is and get it formatted really yeah the pound sign is gone so the song the total song is stored in here and it is then displayed here okay that takes care of my very first function that's the very first function i'm going to need another function that will take care of the change given supposing your customer give you is spending cash okay i'm going to need another function right underneath here so for the second function let's put that right underneath here i'm going to copy this because i'll need most of this anyway and i think that'll be about that'll be it really okay maybe up to here I'll just change it around come right down here paste and this is going to be known as let's say price no change it's actually change isn't it I want to change that to let's say C price, okay? Cost price, and right underneath here, we need to end our function, end function there. Here, yeah. there. Okay, that is the second function. However, I need to change this. That will be change this is correct this is correct let's change this to change and this one I'm going to change this very one to LBL cash dot caption LBL cash dot caption with minus whatever we have inside the sound there And that is multiplied by tax and divide that by 100. Maybe I should have used this instead of writing it and get rid of all of this and sum. Okay, I then need to just get rid of all of these and get my change formatted to pound sign. And that change goes straight into LBL change. Copy that and just paste that in here. There. So that is the second function taken care of. Okay. So. get rid of that that's my second function taken care of up to here first function and second function okay so this is the let me just show you guys this is the this is for the cash that is it right here and this is LBL change okay subtotal tax and total okay now we need to take care of these ones double click on that so right here I'm going to enter item cost that will be zero for now 
Okay, then item cost is going to be item cost plus whatever the cost of the item is. So come right down here equals item cost. Um, what is the price of that very item? It's two pounds seventy five. So we go back in here plus two pounds seventy five. Okay, and I'm going to now say LVL the L ST display that is the list box dot add item and the item we're adding now is the item cost there. Okay, then LST item dot add item. And what item are we adding? Let's see what is the item. It's called cupcake. Cupcake. Yes, that's the spelling. Let's place a cupcake in there. And I also want the now. I need to call the function. There's a function. There we go. That very function. Come right down here and here. Let's call the function. Call function. There we go. And I think that is it for the, for the very first button that is taken care of. Okay, so let's run that. Let's copy though. Copy. And let me run it now. The cost is two pounds seventy five. So we'll click. There we go. Look at it. Decision time. You see, it's adding up the cost of everything, and that's the barcode for the cost of every single item you bought in there. Okay, let's repeat the same thing for all these other buttons. So all I just have to do is, since I've copied that, double click on the next one, which is one pound ninety, and just change that to one pound ninety. 190 and that account I call it copper okay come right down here and just change that to I don't know what that is but that's what I wrote in there there and that's one pound ninety that's like cappuccino I think double click on that and paste that in there I think that's they I call that one pound ninety what one pound oh no two pound ninety five two pound ninety five so changes to nine and that is supposed to be something like more or less like white cream cake um let's just call it that or whatever all right now run those three items are taken care of there we go look at that so we need to take care of the others all right so three is down and the order so i'm going to now do number four then i'll just speed it speed up the whole process double click on that and what how much is number four number four is three pound twenty and it's called cake as well oh, okay let's grab all of these paste that in there 320 and that is cake right number let's do one more then I will speed it up that's a can drink is 57 paste 0 0.57 drinks there so run and I will then speed that up see that guys so let's speed that up now okay guys the cost of each item is now entered into the list box display and the list box for the item as well okay this will display the name of the item and this will display the cost of the item so now let's get to run it let's go ahead and just run it there 
Just select any of those. Look at that. Okay, everything is working the way we want. There. Right. So I'm going to take care of all of this, but for now, I'm just going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial. And I'll see you guys shortly.